Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do an emotion transfer. That's just using any sort of emotion tester pots from any, um, obviously, B&M, sort of like home stores, etc. The first thing you're going to do, so I've got some brown paper. This works on um, MDF wood, could be sort of chipboard, could be sort of like on a canvas. It's just a photocopied printed picture. All I'm going to do... Oh, Okay, so make sure that you um, shake your tester pot first of all, and then all we're going to do is a nice thick, even layer. So you don't really want to be seeing any of your photocopy coming through, seeping through. So I'm going to cover my study. all over making sure you've got that thick solid layer of paint and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to face this down onto our surface so the brown paper I'm using I'm using the more the matte side so it's more porous for us to use rather than the shiny glossy side which is going to then be a little bit of a struggle uh, for it to transfer over. So I get my study. I turn it over. And then I'm going to place it on. I'm not going to squash it out though. So it spreads all the uh, all the paint out. I'm just going to dab it down. So the, uh, the emulsion paint actually gets a hold onto the brown paper. So I need to make sure that everything is stuck down. And then for the bits that you don't need, you can either rip them off So you get a frayed effect or you can cut them off to, like also but I'm gonna go for a ripped effect and then I'd probably leave it to dry for a good few hours or it'd be an overnight so then that would be fully dried okay so now it is fully dry before you start to do anything else you're just going to get yourself some warm water and you need to start to put water over the top of your copy paper the, the printed side down so we're going to cover that sparingly and then we're going to start to rub it away so we're going to peel back some of the paper so a, a gentle rub not going to press so hard just for it to get an even layer and it's going to be the white paper uh, like a pulp so to speak is going to be coming sort of uh, further off so as you can see you're starting to see some of the picture okay so we're going to do it all over. A little bit more. And then your picture now has been printed onto whatever surface that you created your emotion transfer from. So this works the same with, you need to be careful as well when rubbing that you don't take some of your background off. So now whatever you've used to do your emotion transfer on, it works on wood, paper, 
even material uh, plastic you still need to do the same so when you apply your emulsion transfer make sure it is fully dry not even damp or anything it needs to be fully dry before you start to peel off the top layer of your paper it'll feel really extremely funny on your fingertip because it's kind of like a burning sensation but the fingertip is the best way of using it you can't really use a tool in terms of paintbrush or something like that because you won't get the desired effect okay so allow that to dry once it's dry it might still have a little bit of a cloudy layer back over the top so if you if that's the case you just apply the same motion of what we've done here to take the top layer of that paper off and then you have your motion transfer <laughs> 